Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Eve against Shivana in uh, like Plato Emeralds and I'm going to show you how to carry in low elo and what the best build is for Eve runes, all that and give you a step-by-step -step sort of thought process how to how I'll win this game and how to apply it in your own game so you, you can also escape low elo and get to challenger like myself. Alright, so first thing I'm thinking is I have Sona Navaris and a Kindred mid, so... Um, it's not exactly the strongest early lane, because Anivia is kind of like a really strong level 2, level 3 champion with a QE, especially the Electrocute, so... I don't think my bot will get prio just based off the support gap, so... I think, um, Shivana will want to clear a lot as well early, so I think I'll just start Raptors this game, because I don't think it'll get invaded on the second rotation, and... I probably want to play for the Scuttle Crab that Kindred gets a mark on, because as long as Kindred touches the Crab, you can just take it and she'll get the mark. So, looks like 2v2 mid is going to be our best bet, especially since um, Quay has the tier. So, Quay's at a bit of a disadvantage. It's, it's sometimes it give you an advantage if you look at the start items of champions. Like, for example, he went Cull on Scion, so he's going to be weak early game. He doesn't have a Doran's item. Oh, didn't mean to queue this guy. Oh, he whacked me. Doesn't like me. But, like, just pay attention to that, because, like, now I know top and mid on their team is a bit weaker early. So we have a bit of an advantage. And the Shivana's just going to clear a lot early. That's kind of what she does. She just clears and tries to get dragons. And I kind of just clear and try to get my level 6. That's how, like, champion identities. She's really strong at 6. Also, like, she's really weak without her form. Looks like bots fighting a little bit. My bot ended up getting prio. Kindred's going crazy. Kindred gets a solo kill, very nice. Looks like we got cheesed out. Gonna ward this chick. Oh, you see Shivana. So I have top push here, and I have mid push. My mid needs to base, but I want Kindred to stay so we can invade. So I'm going to ping my Kindred to come invade with me. I'm going to just do red buff here. Just going to kite this guy out, force him into a really bad position. He should die here to the Kindred. Maybe not, because Ghost's lasting very, very long. But yeah, we end up being able to contest this. He has no move from his lanes, so... Very good. Now let's just play for the Scuttle. Oh, drop marks. That's a bit annoying for Kindred. But I should be able to get double Scuttle. Because I want to play for my Raptor respawn. He probably took my Wolves on spawn. I mean, he started my Wolves, I'd assume. Yeah, it's a bit of an interesting path for him, but he did not know not being the worst. But he does have no Flash now. I'm just going to base here. Because I don't really think I should go for bot scuttle there, because Shivana's going to be down there. And I have no W. Because I didn't expect to get cheesed by Shivana. I guess they usually do do that, actually. So it's something I could have thought about. But I'd rather just base here and play for my Raptor respawn. Not too worried about the double scuttle. This way I can play for all my camp respawns, because Shivana took them on spawn. Oh, at the start of the game, I mean. So, they're going to be respawning similar times to all mine. So, she's going to be stuck farming, and I'm going to be um, done my camps. So, she has to base and farm all of her camps while I just farm the respawned camps. So, I'm going to be ahead after my full clear, basically. Even though she cheesed me early. I'm going to play for grubs, probably, here. Just based off the state of bot lane. Tell Varus to eat that. Never mind. Oh, well, we missed a little crook. All good. Let's see if. Well, top has priority. Mid needs to base. Mid hasn't based yet. He needs to base. He probably bases now. Yep. Expected. Gonna go for Gromp here, probably. Looks like it's the Raptor's mark, so... Something to know about Kindred is, if the mark disappears, it means they actually took the mark 10 seconds ago, so... 
this mark is actually going to give us an advantage whether we get it or not based off of giving us the enemy's location. I'm going to posh it to not invade because my kindred needs to base. Maybe we can look for the kill on this way. He has no mana, so that's what I'm looking at here when going for this. He does have mana, he has tier, so it looks like he has none, but he does. See Shivana here, we have top move, so any fight in the river is going to be beneficial for us. Sion does have ult, does he have mana? He has mana, sure, but like... Oh, Udia shouldn't steal this, it's annoying. Fine. Alright, we got the crab. Let's look for a mid gank now. For real this time. I'm just doing like a transition gank because I need to go to my bot camps regardless. Gonna drag him out of the kindred ult here. He ends up making it back in, but he has no mana. Shivana's got no flash. I'm happy to fight this guy if I just run away and then go back in. We get Kindred's Ghost, but Shivana Ghost as well. Let's just go get top mark here with Kindred, because Shivana's low. Come, bro. Come get mark. You know you want mark, bro. Come on. Here you go, bro. Like we're helping our mid laner out. Just whack it. And we got the Kindred mark. Awesome stuff. Gonna just go a bit to the side in case science ulting me here or something. And we're just gonna base here and get our nice base off. Grab the silk shoes, grab the amp tome, and go bot side out of base. We're gonna look to clear up towards top side because I really want to kill mid because well easiest target of course. But um, I do. I just want to do Krogs here for six. I should do red because it'll make me a bit stronger. And I'm gonna check Dragon after. I think it's gone already though. I think Ken, uh, Shivana's taken it. I'm just gonna water. Oh, but it's not. Alright, that's really good because I know where Sin Shivana wants to play. She does ult here. I'm just gonna smite this so I can get this finish as quick as possible. I'm gonna stop hitting it now. I let it bleed so I get my passive on the way to this play. I'm gonna ping on the way just so my team knows. And Nibia has passive, so we're gonna wanna focus Jin here probably. I'm gonna get the charming off and we'll just chase him. Looks like Kindred flashes in, gets a very nice playoff. We're gonna last hit that one because Kindred got the Jin kill and I want the gold on myself. I don't really want to take Dragon because it's gonna make me show in this ward as well as don't know where I am for 40 30 seconds or whatever it takes to take that. I'm gonna look for the mid play here though. I do have flash, I assume Shivana's behind, I'm just gonna go this way, I'm gonna flash over the fear, and then just charm him, and finish off the kill there. I'm gonna ping that I wanna invade raptors here, Shivana has already taken raptors though, Shivana's probably here, let's look for an invade, just see if we can find her, she's on Krugs probably, unless she popped down. Alright, looks like she's gone towards her walls, and she's scared of me invading her here. Unless she's in this bush. Okay, she's, she's bot side now. I'm just gonna do red, then I'm gonna look to gank mid. I don't know what the Anivia's doing, but I think Shivana wants to go bot side and play for dragon, and I'm much stronger, so if I can counter gank or counter that play, it'll be very nice. I'm just gonna charm the way here. Run up, put the fear down. Just ult out of there. I might die, actually. Wow, I died. Didn't expect to die, they're just gonna ping my guys to be careful. Rudia does go down unfortunately. Shivana invaded my blue. Wow, of all the things I thought she'd do. These players are not predictable I guess, they're just too smart. Let's see. I'm just gonna open on bot here because I think my bot top camps are gone so I need something to do while I wait for my ult to come up. So I'm just gonna whack my camps, wait for Kindred to come on map. She's very very strong. She has how many marks? Three? Once she gets about four, that's when she hard spikes. She gets the first um, bit of range bonus at that level. Going to just do Raptors here. Not really a gank bot. Actually, we might be able to make something work with Kindred. She has old. This isn't pinked because she has a full inventory, the Anivia. 
Oh, that's pink. That's all good. It's a nice opportunity to look for. Maybe we can just go through... Nah, he's backing all the way off. I could go through lane if they didn't respect what they are. Shivana might be on grubs. Nope. We see Shivana in the mid lane. Just gonna farm my camp. I'm just waiting for my ult to come up here. I don't want my bot lane to be mid. Yeah, it's really hard because I want Kindred mid. Alright, let's see if we can kill this guy. Alright, we'll get behind him, smite him, dodge the fear. Look at that movement, guys. Just, I'm just thinking about the fear. That's all I know is like the only little chance way he gets to live is if I if he hits that. So if I'm just thinking about it and predicting where he's gonna move it, like you guys might not pull off the dodge the first few times, but as long as you're thinking about it and practicing it, and every time it doesn't work, you think about like why it didn't work. He's in this bush, by the way. Gonna run up and get this guy. Not sure if we can kill him. Maybe we can. We probably actually can. He's gonna flash out, looks like. That's fine. We get his flash. We're gonna get grubs here. Shivana gets dragged, but I'm happy with this trade because we already have three grubs. So, six grubs for us with three range chaps is really nice. The more range chaps you have, the better grubs are generally. That's just because they're gonna be able to hit turrets a lot easier. Oh, we didn't mean to W that. That's fine. We do have ult up here. Varus goes down. Just chilling here, finishing off the grubs. We have ult, so we can look for a play here or something. Kindred's out of mana. Let's just invade with the Sona here. Never mind. Shivana's scared. We can just chill here for a bit, wait for Huey to walk up on this wave, and then we can look for the kill on Huey. And we walk up now, dodge the fear. Doesn't look like the fear is dodged. gonna ult. I know I probably didn't need to, but it's just cutting it a bit close. I don't know if Wei has flash. That's the thing is, like, if he flashes at the right time, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. So I'm just gonna base here, because I could farm all my camps, then base, and get a bigger buy, but I already have my big power spike, which is Lich Bane, so I spend my money on this, and now I'm gonna go clear my camps all the way up to top side because Rift Herald's in a minute, so my ult's in a minute 30, so around the time Rift is up, I'm gonna be path up, finished Gromp, when re it respawns, and then my ult's gonna be almost up, so it's just gonna be all efficient and work out nicely. I'm just gonna farm here. Um, Scion has the magic resist item, so Scion's kinda hard to kill. Huh. Wei's just gonna be the easiest kill until Banshees, because I need Banshees to deal with the Nubia, otherwise, she just stuns us and we can't even get on her. See Shivana top here. What's she doing? My way, I mean my kindred's kind of low here. A bit concerning. See Shivana in the Rift Herald pit. She's going to Raptors. Is kindred dead here. Kindred ults. Mid's fighting a lot. I'm just gonna skip blue here and look for this play. Shivana altered. She is swiftly. She's quite fast. Before Hui gets um, the upgrade on her item, I'm gonna kill her or him. Charm connects. Pink wall goes down. Shivana's on the top side. Got no form left. I'm gonna go kill this guy one v one. Oh wow, he's just way too fast. That's silly of me. Maybe we can kill him here. Yeah, that was very silly to go for. Even more silly of him to go for the red buff without, without expecting me to invade. Let's grab this mark, my friend. Awesome stuff. Let's go get Rift Heralds. Alright, Wei's getting harder to kill. He has Null Magic and Seraph, so now kills kill on him is going to take longer, so it's less of a want, I guess, I could say. And we're going to start leaning towards getting Magi's shortly. 
and as well as filling their bot lane. Because they have shut down and I want to shut them down. I don't want to fight here yet, I want to spend my money away from my ult. I'm going to grab Magi, grab double amp tome, build towards Banshees here. Banshees are going to give me the best way to deal with their bot lane. And way, it just, it's so good versus their team. They have so much CC to annoy my combo. I do want to start breaking open some tier 1 turrets if possible. So how can we do that? With Herald of course, but when we want a Herald is when we have our ult up. Our right, top is both just AFK farming. I think uh, Udia should have went the Andres here. Would have been quite good versus the Siobhan and the Scion, but that's whatever. See what Siobhan is doing here. He might be entering my jungle. Oh, we're fighting mid though. Wouldn't be down to participate. And finding some free kills. He's gonna dodge Nivea Q, never mind. Siobhan is in my jungle here for sure though. Wow, that doesn't connect. Swift need boots and Shivana W is kind of crazy. And if you did die though, cool. And Shivana's ult's gonna be running out. We can look for a kill on uh, Shivana here. He's gonna go to blue buff, so we'll be able to kill him on this. I'm gonna ask for assistance here. I'm gonna try dodge the way Q. Pick up the kill there. Gonna charm this guy. Gonna he's gonna run towards Kindred here. So I'm just gonna ping to fight him. I'm gonna dodge his ability so I don't get revealed. I get feared. A bit annoying. He's gonna have Seraphs here, so maybe I can get an assist. Nope. Well, I don't even get an assist for Magi, it's a bit annoying. It's I'm just gonna base and so does basing and Varus should probably base as well. I'm gonna grab my Vernet Barrier, very nice spike, just gives us a lot of easier time dealing with the enemy champions. Rudy is getting... ...beaten in the side lane somehow. Not sure. Yeah, hold up. I'm gonna look for a Nivea here if I can. Looks like a Nivea and Hway are gonna make a play on Kindred here. I'm gonna charm. Let's just, just kill this guy, honestly. He's got no. Got no flash we saw from the earlier mid play. Can look to help this. Oh, we can just kill this guy, no? Yeah, just kill this guy. Charm goes down show and then he's gonna Q sh he's gonna fear me and I'm gonna dodge the fear. And I'm gonna ult so I don't get hit by that last turret shot, and then we're gonna go play for drag. I'm gonna ping that Shivana's top side. Because we saw him earlier there. I'm paying attention to a lot of things, but just focus on the main decisions I'm doing and like ask yourself why or like other options I could potentially have and think about like why it's better. This will help you improve and like understand the game at a better and higher level. I hope you guys are learning. If you are, drop a like, drop a subscribe and Consider joining the Patreon, you can get coaching by me every day and we'll help you get to your dream rank very, very efficiently. Alright, so we're just pathing up top side because Baron is coming up and also I don't have ult so I just need to get my camps off the map while that is. So a lot of people ask, when do I farm, when do I gank? When your ult's up, you want to look for plays. When your ult's down, you want to farm. Unless you're behind, then you want to just look to counter gank plays whenever your ult's up. Same thing is that you just want to farm Farm your camps, wait for your ult to come up, generally. Unless you don't need the, your ult for place, which sometimes you don't. Like, I've got Magi at this point. I have Lich Bane and Vernon Barrier. Like, these are items that will help me play without my ult. So, I don't even need ult for plays. I'm just gonna go onto the red buff here. Because I think Shivana's around. Shivana's not exactly high health either. I ordered red buff, even though I had champion's target only or something. That's odd. I'm just waiting for Kindred. I mean, I'm just gonna finish this at this point. Legendary. 
gonna dodge the abilities, I should be fine here. I'm gonna pretend to leave out of the turret here, and then look to kill the Jin. Cool, gonna charm the way, just get the slowdown. And we kill him over the wall. And now let's grab the red buff. Red buff, Kindra gets the mark, cool. And this is base now, we've got no ult, and we get a lot of money to spend. Lots of magic resist on this guy, magic resist there. Do we want to grab void? Probably go void next. Yeah, we'll go void. We can kill the scion though. It's kind of trolling. He might just die here. Oh! Udia did unleash on that guy. Let's look to play for some picks in the bot side jungle. Just because we're going to be pushing bot. We're going to be pushing heads. Oh, this looks free. Yo, 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 team, wake up. One HP Shivana in our jungle. Oh, it looks like we can't. There might be an Anivia in this push. Nope, Anivia's top side. Did this guy die? Yeah, he does. I don't get an assist though. Sad. Look for a pick top side though. Everyone's up there. I got Banshees coming up and I got ult, so. This Anivia's gonna walk into this bush. Probably just walk into me right here. Yeah, we pick up the kill on this guy. Let's go get Baron. Oh, unless we can kill this guy. Oh! He's gonna charm Scion here. Oh, we have to dodge the Jinnals. That scared me. Um, I kind of trolled that fight, to be honest. But I don't really want to be hitting Scion, to be honest. Let's look for Scion here. He can't walk through here on this HP. Come on now. Oh, we get his ult out at least. Find Shivana there. Shivana has no form. Let's hit this turret. We got six scrubs. I'm just gonna run a Jin, acting like I'm a threat. He doesn't actually know what I do. I'm just pretending to be a threat. I'm not even a threat to these guys, but if I just walk up, they click back so we get the turret. Kindred's base, so we don't have Kindred here, so should be a bit cautious now, wait for Al to come up. Just ping Udia back, oh, Udia looks to be dead. I'm gonna look for the Shivana in the side. Kindred is coming. Oh, I did not mean to walk this way, but this will work, I guess. Expecting Shivana to show up. I don't break hearts, I just tear them from rib cages. Oh, this guy is altered out somewhere. Let's go Baron though. Can't we just go Baron? Yeah, we got Varus and Kendra. We got double ADC. We have Udia TP as well. I really want to do this. Team. Yo, team. Team. Come on, team. Come on, Varus. Let's do Baron. Come on, Varus, buddy. Come on. They give to beg your teammates to come. They don't even know. They don't even know what game they're playing. They probably forget they're playing League of Legends. You should tell them 50 times. Maybe they'll wake up and realize that they're playing a game of League. Oh, let's see if we can look for a mid play. We don't have much gold. We do have gold, but it's not going to amount to anything. The amount we have. We get spotted by Jin traps. A bit annoying. Going to pretend like I run bot side, then just turn back instantly and look for a pick here. This is my favorite trick. You pretend you're going one way, then you turn back and look for kills. Works every time. Except for this time, of course. It would have to fail this time, no, it won't. I feel there looks like That's it, Put your guard down. Pick up the kill on Jin. He doesn't have flash. He's not playing like he does. If he played like he has flash, or just ult there. Looking for the Hui. Don't know where the Hui is. We can just dive in Ivy here. Let's play for this turret. Gonna get some vision here. It gives us vision of the portal and also see if they rotate through. Hover here for the turret gold. And let's play for the triple in here. So we have three lanes pushing with Baron. This is very rare to have a solo queue. So. Scion walks up a bit here. I didn't get the ult execute on him, but he should die here. He's gonna hit the turret here. 
And we're just killing everyone here. This is going really well. Hope you guys are learning stuff. I'm sure you are if you're paying attention. I'm gonna run up. Unable to hit that guy. Gonna run here. Have to flash the last one, actually. Anivia queuing Africa. Oh, I might be dead here. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Just gonna end the game here, probably. Hit the Nexus, guys. GG. Good luck in your games. Peace, peace, peace. Boom.